There's only one piece of equipment you use on every shot in golf, the ball, and you're probably playing the wrong one. This is Golf Smarter. Welcome to the Golf Smarter Podcast, Dominic. Thank you for having me. This is great. It's great to see you, man. It was yeah. good. Thank you for being one of the first people I got to meet and going, a friendly face. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, you're at Bridgestone Golf, um, and Bridgestone is, is a lot of different products, balls, bags, clubs, the whole, right, gamut. Yep. Yep. I want to focus on balls in this conversation, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, because you guys uh, claim that seven out of ten uh, if I get this right, seven out of ten golfers play the wrong golf ball. Correct. Um, Please expand on that. All right. So Bridgestone Golf, we're the number one ball fitter in golf. Essentially, we have a program that has uh, 26 teams that go all across the United States and basically fit people for the right golf ball. Um, and what I mean by that is we actually test whatever product you're, you're playing. So it could be another manufacturer. We put you through our system and we actually test your ball speed your launch angle, your backspin, your side spin. Um, and we figure out exactly what element of the product is, is either helping or hurting your game. Okay. So maybe the compression's too hard. Maybe you don't need a urethane cover, um, for, for spin around the greens. So essentially we pinpoint, what, and I'm sorry for interrupting, but what would determine that? Uh, the compression really. So essentially if you're not able to, I to, mean, on the golfer side, the golfer like you side, you shouldn't have a ball that spins so much. Well, if you cannot swing fast enough to compress a ball, right? What happens is there's, only, there's really only one place for that ball to go. Mm -hmm. And that's to spin up, spin off the face, in turn, create more backspin. And then what that's going to do is exaggerate or accentuate your, your miss. So a lot of the most popular balls on tour, um, are really just too hard for, for amateur swing speeds. They're actually giving up distance or giving up accuracy because they're not fully compressing it. Now on a robot, golf balls all compress the same. Sure. Because they're also being hit in the dead center of the club, okay, with a complete squared face, it's going to react. If you glance across it, that's changing the amount of, of energy that you actually put into the product or put into the back of the golf ball, okay? So what we've done through our research is we've actually found that 7 out of 10 golfers uh, actually don't play the right product. Mm. Um, so uh, As much as we want to be the robot... <laughs> our, our swings are so inconsistent, right? Exactly. So we're not necessarily robots, and that's how we're able to achieve these results. So we've based these these statistics off 300,000 fittings. Um, we've gone across the country, and we have so many different types of swings. We have the scratch golfer. We have the guy that hits the high fade. We have the gal that swings the low draw. A full variety of, of, of shots to kind of go into and say, okay, Bridgestone Tire, you, you've given us access to your 900 engineers, Here's all this data that we need to, that we need to fix or that we need to uh, adjust. What do we what do we create next for the for the consumer, right? Mm -hmm. And so we're we're really excited because that gives us a true tool to use to to help the average golfer. So that's what that is in essence what what ball fitting is. So you know, there's the most popular ball in golf, right? We the big T, um, but aren't those designed more for tour players? And yeah, I mean, they're, they're high end, they're Pro V1, the Pro V1X, whatever it is. If you break down a, a, a construction of a product, it's not necessarily the label on the outside of the, of the, of the product. It's the compression. Mm -hmm. It's the number of uh, pieces the product has. It's the type of cover material the product has. Um, so we don't, I don't necessarily look at product as, as a name brand or, or who plays it on tour. I look at it as, you know, similar to how you would look at a extra stiff shaft or a stiff shaft or a regular shaft or it's, it's, it's product on how it's broken down into the, its core elements, right? So granted, you know, the T-ball or whatever you called it. <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want to know my secret? Uh, what is Actually, I, I don't understand why they would call a ball provisional, right? It's like, why would you call pro That's For me, that sounds for provisional. I'm I don't want sure. a ball that's going to be a provisional. <laughs> I want a ball that I'm going to hit it straight. So why would you call it? Anyway. But, uh, but see, I'm with you. So what, yeah. uh, what I'm saying, though, is that basically um, the golf ball is just as much of a piece of equipment as the driver, as the iron, as the putter. Right. right? So that equipment is geared on the same level that their extra stiff shafts are geared at, their 8.5 degree lofted drivers are geared at. It's tailored to their game. So why, why go and spend all the time to get fit for your irons, your driver, your wedges, right? And then just go ahead and just go to the shelf and pick out whatever's there. I was at your website last night, and I love the line Paula Kramer had about, 
you, you, you play, uh, you know, 14 different golf clubs, but you play the same ball the entire game. It's the only piece of equipment that's hopefully in play on every shot, right? It's not <laughs> exactly. out of bounds or anything, but <laughs> exactly. essentially it should fit just as much as anything else should fit in your bag. Right. Um, it should be tailored to your game. So. But now you have people who, way too many people will just walk into a store and buy some clubs off the shelf without swinging. It's like, oh, my buddy plays one. Right, and we talked long ago on on the podcast. We, we focused on the idea that if your buddy, if you borrow your buddy's club and you hit it and you like the way, buy that club from him because they're so inconsistent from club to club that when you go to the store and buy one, you may not be hitting it the same way you did your buddy's club. But balls, on the other hand, people aren't getting fitted for. They should be fitted because they don't know which ball to play. They shouldn't be playing a ball that's like because. Spieth is playing it, you should be playing, or, you know, whoever. And hey, I mean, your game might require a product that's geared towards sure. Jordan Spieth's type of game. Um, but you won't ever know until you actually go and get fit and see the differences and understand, you know, what is actually best for your game. Um, it, it could be the fact that we're going to take you out of a tour line type ball, and we're going to get you into something less expensive. It's it's better suited for your chipping style around the greens. Maybe you're not a, a high spin player around the greens, or you want more of a bump and run type product. Um, we have that product as well. So we have nine different offerings that we can actually fit you into depending on all your different requirements, tee to green. Nine different offerings in golf balls. Correct. Can you go, can you give me a brief summary on your nine different offerings? Yeah. You, so we have the, the, you, the nice. B330s. Thanks. There's four B330 models. So two models are designed for swing speeds above 105. Two models are designed for swing speeds below 105. And then within each model, you have a spin version. So whether you want distance or you want more spin, they both have urethane covers, but depending on whether you want more of a check and run or a check and stop product, or maybe a ball that's going to suck, suck back a little more, spin back a little more, mm -hmm. um, they, they feature a 12% softer cover in the S model of that product. Um, you can probably cut in a nice little grid of what I'm talking about here. Yeah, we sure. Go of course. Through it. Um, <laughs> and then you have the E series, which is more of a, a performance series. It's based more on trajectory, um, you have a model that's designed for, for higher flight, a two piece urethane model, very unique product. Um, really going to increase your carry distance. Um, not always the best option for players that have a lot of side spin off the driver. Cause mm -hmm. anytime you increase carry distance, you're increasing spin and a player that has a lot of side spin. If you give them a product that has more spin, it's going to exaggerate left or right more. And when we're being fitted for a ball, are we being fitted off of our driver or all clubs? Uh, driver is what we use for the fitting because that is going to show us the biggest effect or your biggest miss. Oh, okay. And it's also the club you're going to swing the fastest. And so we need to have a, a baseline shot. or a, yeah, a baseline of, of essentially where your swing speed is to try to key that in with your, with your compression as well. Um, keep, I'm going to keep going here, but the Please. E6 model is, is really our horse. It's a three piece multi-layer ball. Love that ball. Awesome, awesome product. Uh, I think 28% of golfers that we fit through the ball fitting program actually fit into the E6 model. Um, as you can see that, you know, it being a soft compression, it's really designed to alleviate backspin, sidespin. Um, you know, as you know, most golfers have too much backspin and they have a lot of sidespin. So that ball has been really successful for us. And then we have the E7 model, which is uh, really just designed for pure distance, all ball speed, just the maximum distance junkie type, uh, type product there. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we have some lower end product, more of a value product, uh, the fix ball, F I X ball. Mm-hmm. And then we have the lady precept as well. Precept is precept is Bridgestone. It's oh, I did not know that. So pre two thousand five, we were precept, um, and then two thousand five, we launched the Bridgestone brand, and then we kind of uh, wrapped the precept uh, model into the uh, Bridgestone portfolio, if you will. So, so if we wanted to go into our local retailer, big box or clubhouse, um, and there, there's a club fitter there. Should we not have him fit us for golf balls? Or, I mean, is this a specifically trained Well, we have a proprietary stone? system that we use that's designed ex uh, exclusively for ball fitting. Um, a lot of retailers can recommend golf balls, but our science is our methodology, and it's our, you know, we understand how it works and how we compare. I would recommend going to BridgestoneGolf.com, go on the fitting tab, find out where the closest event is going to be. Right now is the peak season of us uh, and in our ball fitting program. So uh, it's, gr it's a great time to kind of dust those clubs off, go out, find what ball fits your game, and get out to the course and have some fun. And the, the club fitting, is it a, a 
touring thing? Is it moving around, and how many of them do you have going at any given time? Uh, right now, regular season, we have 20 teams that are going across the country. Wow. So, and then in the Sun Belt season, we'll have teams in Southern California, uh, Texas, Florida, kind of you know fall in the sun months, if you will, and, and keeping the, the ball fitting alive. So. Wow, wow. Um, and so uh, what's the latest thing that's come out, and why is it so exciting? We have this new coating on our tour balls, the four models I was telling you about. Yeah, the B330s. Um, the B330s. It's do a you self happen to have something to show me? I do. I have a cool little prop here to show you. Awesome. I want you to take these two golf balls and rub them together. Huh? And we're going to see your... Uh, Is a genie going to pop out? We'll see uh, your reaction on camera here. So Wait, so I I'm, I'm need to rub these together. Do you feel how sticky that is? Yeah. It's it's hard to rub them. So yeah, what it is, it's a, uh, it's I a I thought coating. it was a magnet at first. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> no prop, no trick. These are right out of the sleeve. Uh, essentially, it's a self-repairing cover. Okay. It's a coating that goes over the top of the golf ball. It's called slip res. Okay. And essentially what it's doing is when you hit it, hit the ball with the driver, the ball is actually going to be stabilized or held in place. So what that's going to do is it's going to allow the ball to compress a little bit longer. Right. Okay. When you compress the ball longer or better, you're not going to have as much backspin. You're not going to have as much side spin. Right. I was going to say, does that create less spin by sticking? Especially with the driver because it's more of a sweeping shot. Right. Now, when you get into the wedges and the irons, because of the descending blow of the angle of of attack, you're actually creating more friction. You're going to get more spin. So less spin off the driver, more spin off the irons, Hmm. and then it has the cool feature of that it's actually self-healing and self-repairing because it's that pliable malleable surface that repairs itself and stickiness and does this uh, you know i somebody gave me a box of balls at the holiday and i said well thank you i really appreciate this it's just weird getting a gift that you know i'm gonna lose yeah right (laughs) but um but sometimes you might be able to get three or four rounds out of a ball you know i don't know how that's possible but you can the key is never think, wow, I haven't lost a ball yet today, because that's a kiss of death. The next hole, you're losing that ball. Next shot. Forget yep. about it. It's it, gone. Don't even think about it. It's one thing to say it out loud, but don't even think about it. But um, And this stuff stays, has that stickiness yep. to it the entire time. It yeah, it's a really it. incredible process. Um, that's amazing. It took four years to actually perfect applying that coating to the golf ball. Um, here's one other example of it. Here's a traditional coating that we've used in the past. This is the new uh, new coating. If you want to scratch the traditional, you'll see how easily it scuffs. Okay, let's see if we can do this in the camera here. I can take the golf balls if you want. Okay, thank you. All right, so um, this is the traditional one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, traditional coating. I'm, I'm doing it with a little brush here. Okay, makes a lot of noise, and it's, it's the coating is all scratched up. Mm-hmm. Right. Let me do it here. Wait. Much closely. Even without my glasses, I can see it's see not it? scratching at all. Well, it and does. It's and it's sticky, it, too. It disappears. And it disappears. Oh. Watch. If you watch really closely, it actually disappears. Now, if you sat <gasps> there for five minutes rubbing the same spot, it would wear down. But. Wow. So that, very interesting. That's the cool That's performance very benefit, cool. So. Thank you for bringing props. You're welcome. No problem. <laughs> props to you. <laughs> <laughs> props to me. Props to you. Very cool. Uh, you want to talk about any of the uh, other products that are not golf ball related that are Bridgestone for a moment? No, I think, we I, think covered we the, time. I think we covered the hot topics. You know, our ball fitting program is obviously our our main differentiator, our, our biggest point of... You have a lot of players that, that are in your stable of uh, users, right? I mean, on the tour. Yeah, um, Matt Kuchar... Brant Snedeker, Hudson Swafford, Paula Kramer, Stacey Lewis, Fred Couples. Uh, we just signed a great rising star, Bryson DeChambeau. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. He tested all the products in the field, and he basically said, Bridgestone has the best product, and I want to play that. Um, so how does that work for you guys? I mean, you approach them, they approach you. Uh, how, how do those... Well, Bryson's a, he's, he's willing he's to, unique in terms... To well, he's unique in terms of how he approaches his his decision-making, I think. he He's more analytical. He's a... Uh, he actually took all the, the the golf balls in the industry and he and he tests them. He tests them with the old Epsom salt test to find out where the balance point is. Mm-hmm. He tested our product and he said it was the best. Um, a lot of people don't understand this, but we actually hand inspect every single golf ball that leaves our plant. Uh, we don't do a, a mass test or test five and all hundred are good kind of thing. We actually hand inspect every single golf ball. And what impact does that have on the price of the golf ball? 
Uh, it doesn't have an impact on that. It just, um, we actually have a way of, if we do find any defects, instead of selling them as, as X out or seconds, we actually have a very um, precise recycling process, sustainability process that we have that we, we take that product and we, we filter it back into the actual manufacturing process. So uh, it doesn't affect the, the actual cost of the ball because we're, we're sustainable. We're recycling the, the product. It's not, it's not considered waste because it goes back into the... Isn't Bryce DeChambeau the guy that plays the one length on all his clubs? He is. Yeah. Single length clubs? Yeah. He's, he's got a very interesting story. So for those that, that don't know Bryson, I'd, I'd strongly recommend going and looking up Bryson DeChambeau. And Bryson DeChambeau. DeChambeau, uh-huh. correct, yeah. So he's, he's just come along. So he came to you and said, I want to play these balls. I've tested them out scientifically for my own way. I mean, clearly he's got this mind that doesn't see golf the way most people do if he's playing with one length irons. Yeah, he has his own philosophy, which is great, his own approach. And, uh, but he's succeeding with he's, it, which is awesome. He's a great guy, and he's just, yeah, he's doing a great job out there. So we're really proud to have him on the team, obviously. Um, but um, anyhow. Well, great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for spending some time. Yeah. I hope we can spend some more time during this weekend or Absolutely. this week. At, uh, and I want to see your product in action. Absolutely. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, anytime. Click on the link below to subscribe to our free weekly interviews on the Golf Smarter podcast at golfsmarter.com.